What's up guys, Tim Little, welcome back to Tactical Bassin. Today's video is a summer gear review video. I got some new baits, new reel, some gear and stuff you should check out if you plan on doing some fishing this summertime. Before we get into the baits and the new gear, those of you guys that have been following along, both Matt and I, you guys know that we are halfway or three quarters of the way across the country on a massive road trip. You know, we left about a month ago and we've just been cruising and fishing and filming, getting you guys content. Uh, a couple things that I did to my trailer before I hit the road, uh, I upgraded a few things. So I wanna share those with you guys because they have been awesome and they've really helped out during this whole process. So if you guys plan on hitting the road this summertime, or for any time for that matter, definitely check out these items. I'll show you these real quick, then we'll dive into the baits, the reel, line, that stuff. The first thing I wanna share with you guys or view today is this guy right here. This is the Moto Stop Transom Saver. This thing is a solid piece of aluminum, and let me tell you, it works great. I've traveled all over, towed all over, and this is a must have if you guys plan on trailering long distances or just to the lake for that matter. The Moto Stop, again, solid piece of aluminum. This works for the, this is a Yamaha Show 250 SHO. Uh, this will work for your Optimaxes. It will not work for your new four stroke Mercuries, but this guy right here, slips right over. And locks down and that motor isn't going anywhere. Next item I wanna show you guys is these guys right here. This is the TH Marine Steer Stop. Now what these are, these are hydraulic steering clips. These clip on right here on both sides of your motor to stabilize it during travel. Now previous versions of this, other versions of this are kind of rubber, they dry out, they crack. This is a hard plastic, they got a built-in grip, nice bungee. All you have to do is clip these on just like that on both sides of your motor, keeps that hydraulic steering stable as you're traveling down the road between these guys right here and the Moto Stop Transom Saver. This motor would be very stable thousands of miles. I've never had an issue with both of these products. Now let's jump up front. I'll show you the two of the other items I put on my trailer and then we'll talk some baits. Two other items that I upgraded on my trailer before hitting this road trip for thousands of miles. This guy right here, and this guy right here. You know, my trailer, it's a 2008, it's getting a little old, it's getting up there, so I wanted to make sure that my boat was secure while traveling across the country. So the first thing I did was upgrade the winch and the jack. Now the jack, let's start with that. Very easy to upgrade. Just took off the bolts, popped the new ones on. This one's got a built-in brake or trailer brake, so it'll keep it from rolling, but uh, it's rated up to 1,600 pounds lifts my boat very easily. I don't have to grease it. Um, my old one was starting to get all nasty and kind of really hard to jack up, but very easy. So I upgraded this guy right here. It's got a little safety keeper that you put on right there so that your handle is stable and uh, makes it very easy to put your boat on and off uh, the rig. Next guy is right here. This is very important. Um, I actually carry a spare strap. I've had a couple straps break throughout the years. Uh, so I kept my old strap off of my old winch, but I put this new winch on. Both these products are made, made by Fulton. I'll put those down in the video description. Very easy to use. It's got a, a forward, neutral, and reverse right here. So neutral, reverse, or loosen. Put it over here to tighten lock it down again wanted to make sure that my boat was going to be stable and secure traveling all these miles so upgraded the winch again keep your your spare strap just in case you break it and upgraded the jack that's it on the trailering and the motor stuff now let's talk baits and i got a reel for you as well now let's talk about the good stuff the baits one of the baits that i want to share with you guys is gonna be this guy right here. This is the new Mega Bass Z Series Z1 and Z2 crankbaits. 
Now what these are, these are quarter ounce crankbaits, real small, about two inches in length. Look at the detail on these things. Works very well, especially for small mouth. I've been using this guy a bunch. This is the ZX2, dives down about 10 feet. Even though it's a quarter ounce, it's got a weight transfer system in there that uh, allows you to cast this thing fairly long distances. But the, the finish work on here, this is actually the matte craw color and the small mouth have been chewing them up. This little Z2 has been really fun to fish. You know, I was trying to target the pre-spawn small mouth. So fish coming up from deep water, coming up on the ledges, coming up to look for a place to spawn. This little Z2 was money. It's a 10 foot diver, so I could fish that transition. Like I said before, I can burn it. I was actually throwing it on an eight to one gear ratio reel, paired up with uh, 12 pound fluorocarbon. You guys know that we typically like braid to liter, but uh, waters that we're fishing are ultra clear. So we just at, you know, got rid of the braid and went straight fluorocarbon. It is a little less sensitive, a little less reactive, but uh, I feel like you get more bites because of the ultra clear water. Again, the Z series, the one and two. Now this guy, this guy is almost, well it is, a square bill, like four to six foot is what they say. I was getting like four to five uh, on the 12 pound. Again, I'm burning it and it deflects very, very nicely. Doesn't have that big of a bill on it. Real aggressive action and uh, deflects very, very well. That's the, that's the one I'll show you compared to the two. So definitely interested in getting some more of the colors. These are the two colors that I fished uh, and had most of the luck on that matte craw right there. Next bait I wanna share with you guys or show you guys, it's not necessarily new, but this is the Tekel Kick Knocker. And if this bait looks familiar, it looks a lot and reminds me a lot of the Reaction Innovations Vixen that you can't get right now. Those of you guys that are on eBay, you know that the baits go for a lot of money sometimes. This is one of my favorite colors. This is Lime Ice. There's been a lot of different companies making a Vixen-esque type topwater. You know, there's Paycheck Baits and obviously Reaction Innovations with the Vixen, but the Tekel Kick Knocker so far has been great. Again, if you can't get the Vixen or you want something that's a little bit different colors, check out this Tekel Kick Knocker. Bone and Lime Ice are two of my favorite colors. If it's sunny and I'm fishing pretty clear water, it's pretty hard to beat this guy right here. Hopefully you guys can see, see that kind of that ghost clear body with a chartreuse back and purple head and uh, stormy cloudy conditions. I really like throwing the bone color. Again, the Tekel Kick Knocker is a great bait to check out this time of year. Now, if you guys have been following along, you guys know that Matt and I spent a little bit of time on Chickamauga, fishing ledges, uh, catching fish. And uh, one of the baits, I'm actually gonna shoot a uh, more of an in-depth big worm video, but one of the bait, baits that I really liked is this guy right here. This is a new bait by Yum. It's called the Yum Mighty Worm. Now, I don't know if it's a 10 or 11 inch worm, but you can see it is a magnum trick worm style of bait. How I was fishing this was on a big shaky head and uh, had a lot of fun throwing this guy right here. Again, if you guys like throwing summertime big worms, check out this new Magnum trick. This is the Zoom Mighty Worm. Now with that said, the rod and reel that I was throwing it on, actually the reel and line. Now I'm gonna do a more in-depth or we will do a more in-depth of this bad boy right here. That is the new Metanium. Um, I'm not gonna go too much in depth on it, but all I will say is wow. You know, I fell in love. It took me a little bit to fall in love with that, the new Bantam, uh, but once I did, it is my favorite reel to throw on so many different techniques. And uh, I was a little nervous when this guy came out because I just invested in a bunch of the, the Bantams, but what I can say about this, um, new metanium 
it it is sweet so i had that paired up i was throwing the big worms this is actually an ecstasy this is a 754 uh, but what i wanted to share with you guys is this new line right here so the new reel new line this is fc structure by sunline and what it's made for it's got more abrasion resistance less stretch so you leads fishermen you offshore fishermen guys that like throwing big texas rig worms big shaky heads, big Carolina rigs. Uh, this line you guys should definitely check out. Again, super abrasive resistant, uh, very low stretch, so it's ultra sensitive. I was blown away. You guys know that typically Matt and I, we like to throw braid to leader, uh, but I wanted to try this line out. I wanted to give it a fair shot. So I spooled it up and uh, let me tell you, it was really, really sensitive. Didn't have any issues breaking off. Uh, again, I fished on a Magnum shaky head and had a blast. All right, guys, so there you have it. That is uh, a little bit of a gear review, some new baits, some new stuff for your boat and trailer if you plan on traveling this year. But if you guys haven't already, check out these baits. Summertime fishing, you guys will have a blast. If you guys have any questions, please leave those down below in the comments section. I will link all the stuff I talked about down below in the video description and even link some of my favorite colors especially in this guy and this guy. As always, guys, we appreciate you. Have a good one.